In the last video I showed off shooting and interaction, and I'll use that both of those a tiny bit in this demo. But I'm also going to show off two of the very important gameplay mechanics, uh, which can be accessed through this device. So this is a space-time manipulator. It manipulates space and time. Um, you can see it's got two settings here, which I can switch between. When I'm manipulating space, I can teleport different places. That's how I move around my levels. Uh, and manipulating time, I can slow down time, and uh, that is part of how you fight enemies and do other things and solve puzzles and things. Um, so, first of all, teleporting is free. You don't need any sort of fuel or like battery or anything for that, because I don't want the player to get stuck uh, in places and not have any way to teleport out of them. Uh, slowing down time, however, you have to be a little bit more careful with it because you need this stuff, which is called quantum juice to go into the quantum or the space-time manipulator right there. So, um, should I show teleporting first? I'm going to show teleporting first. So if I'm over here, I want to get to that desk right there. Oop, I don't want that to be inside my shelf. Click, pull open the portal. Inside the portal is the desk. Pull it through, and I'm here. I can interact with things. Uh, completely seamless. Completely seamless, in, unless you happen to be looking at the edge while you teleport, and then you get that little flick. But I'm gonna work it on. It's gonna, yeah, gonna be smoothed out. But um, of course, we can't slow down time unless we load that up with quantum juice. And once we do get to time has slowed down all kinds of good mystery effects in the air back up again down cool and I have this right now so this quantum this single vial of quantum juice can give us a hundred seconds of slowing down time um, it will not be that long I think it's gonna be more like 10 or 20 seconds game. Okay, so what can we do while slowing down time? There's one really interesting aspect of slowing down time, which is that if we have an object, see this book, um, and we slow down, oh god, why are my targets rotating? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, if I take a book, I slow down time, and I throw the book, and I speed up time, the book is going very fast, because I threw it while time was slow. So let me... Show this again. I can go over and grab that book. Oh no. <laughs> it's in my couch. There we go. If I slow down time, throw the book, it flies way across the room when time is sped back up again. So that, oh, that is an interesting way of fighting enemies. Oh, look at that. You can see my, my laser pointer going. And all my view through the, the teleport portal is completely 3D. There's no difference from what I see in the portal and what I see out of the portal. So like, here it comes. That's actually intersecting with my head. There. Anyway, portal is cool. Books are cool. Time slowing down is cool. Let's uh, show some effective use of teleporting. We're actually getting around the level. I need to add a sound effect to that button. Moving along here. It's a little bit tiring right now to like open a portal and wave your arm every time you wanna you wanna move somewhere. So I'm gonna have it so you can just click and then just flick your wrist to the side. Right now it sorta works. Not really. I'm working on it. For some reason if you flick forwards. It... Anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> Gun. I don't know if you saw, but there's a drone going back and forth. This is very similar to the set of quarters that I showed in the trailer. The shape of them. He's not seeing me, because he's he's dumb. I gave him a small field of view. Uh, now, shall I fight him? Engage in combat with this drone. Oh, he's mad. Oop. 
And that is all it takes to beat them right now, just three, t three shots. Um, could also have used slowing down time. If there had been, you know, 20 drones here, they probably would have shot me before I could shoot all of them. So I would want to slow down time, pick them each off. Oop, so my gun needs to <laughs> vent heat. Still have to wait a tiny bit in between shots because rocks back and has to go back forward again. But I can shoot much, much faster when time is slow down than I can otherwise. Um, other than that, let's see. Oh. If I take a book. Oh. oh. Go back up here. Oop. Sorry, book. I need the wall. Let's show again how... how this is interesting. I also probably could have just thrown a book at the drone. Defeated him. Oop. I was not teleporting that. Let's try to get it all the way down the hallway. Woo! It feels like a superpower. It's very fun. And then there's nothing there. Um, so, I'm going to try to get a demo of this on Steam, this this actual level. Actually, it's the one I'm going to put on Steam. I'm going to put some more stuff in it. Um, it's not just going to be a demo of these two features. Um, but I'm going to have this one and the shooting range that I showed in the last video. Um, and that's going to be a free demo for anybody that has a Vive. So, uh, See you soon, I hope, in the world of Vertigo.